All right, hello again, folks. We're back with some more of the analytical run of uh, A Machine for Pigs. The overthought run. What does it all mean? So right now we're rather gas grasping at straws. And we're in the unfortunate position of being able to read a lot more deer than they may have put into what we're reading. Or not enough. <laughs> Possibly All both. Right. Well, apparently my factory stinks and no one likes me. Well, you are slaughtering pigs after all. Aha, uh -huh, I think the local jobs would be good. <laughs> I guess everyone would work for the factory, but if the factory is fake, like that, that one note said. That'd be kind of interesting. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yes, a clever ruse made entirely of a papier mache. Yeah. And that note wasn't of, of much consequence. It was just. Oh, we need to start this car. So I've got to find a gas tank. Go back and fill it. And then bring There's it back. A and Come on, Papa. Let's so here's where we so place Pop the Anachronism and see if the, the gas tank is a jerry can. Well. That's the gas tank? That's the gas tank. I don't believe that's actually anachronistic. Nice. There's a church connected to the plant. Why would you connect a church to a s processing plant? Well, that's what the note says. This church is connected that's to the not plant. Poor. How that's odd. That's why. <laughs> a strange container. <laughs> The strange container is is the gas tank. Well, not gasoline. That they're making that clear. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's not petroleum. Well, they were talking about getting some sort of animate fluid from creatures, so it could be some sort of life essence powered truck, which would be yeah. Interesting. It seems like a waste, considering how rare. Uh, of an element uh, Vitae or Vitae was in the first game. It sounds like they've got a way of mass producing it from what they've said so far. It looks like they're rewiring entire creatures to just extract it faster from them. But I could be wrong on that. That, that has not been made clear. Yeah, that's true, but that would be interesting considering that Mandis is like the, the proponent of mechanization. And Alexander was doing this. It would explain some of the earlier notes pretty well. Oh, you need to fill yeah. the tank up? That's not full? Oh, right, that's over here. Yeah. Sound good. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be piggy shouting of some sort. I love how all these valves just magically turn off when you turn them all the way to one side. And you know, don't, you don't actually have to close them. It is awfully convenient. So are you being chased by something or is that just background noise? I think it's no, I think it's trying to break through that door. That could be a problem. So I've got to run, Piggy. This is a slaughterhouse. Uh, they're prepared for pigs to run. Yes, but I don't think yeah. they're ready to prepare the long pork. It would explain why the church is connected to the processing plant. Don't Missionaries? shoot me, I'm the owner. That's one has basic logic like that. I don't worked. remember there being a pig mask here before. 
There wasn't. I swear we saw that and there wasn't one there. Yeah. I think you're so being stalked you by the... something. Yep. All that for that. Uh, one of the things that I will way, kind of... Come and see. Well, it hatch. For my Come tastes, fault this game on... Yes, my darling. Of course we is that they've focused so much on story centrism mm -hmm. that as a game it's kind of dull oh we got a it's... note about Lily livestock and Bibles Lily dancing Lily dancing on the table her eyes aflame this love burnt into his heart his heart scarred from the heat of this love, of his love, dancing. So, um, because you guys can't see that, but, yeah, anyway. As I said earlier, it's that as far as you have come in the game, there hasn't been much really revealed about the setting yet, which is very surreal. And we barely know anything about this setting. Such an abomination could not follow onto holy ground. I like how in supposedly his his uh, mad dash for survival, he had time to scribble that note to himself. Dear diary, oh god, oh god, run. Now I'm inside St. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember, we sat in our black, and we mourned, and we prayed, and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then, how I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was, if such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here... I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. I guess that's character insight. And note. Here, a a document. Uh, twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others, so the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them, a shepherd indeed. Is anybody almost getting, like, Frankenstein vibes off of some of these building a new god notes? Yeah. Very strong transhumanist or Frankenstein or however you want to interpret it. Yeah, I suppose I could see that. There's enough your there. Your shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. And he was and talking real, about clockwork men. Progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Yeah, another worship of industry. Oops. <laughs> as interesting as this control schema is, it does make opening doors weird sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was... Symbolism. OMG, what the fuck BBQ? 
You guys see that? Mary and child, but the face doesn't look quite right from this angle. Uh, that's a pig's head. Oh! Interesting as they or were talking about God. No, it's much more. No, it's a pig. It's interesting how they were referring to you know God as the swine in this case. Same statue. I have the strangest course, feeling have that they're sa- that the pig there's on the a, altar. It almost sounds like they're trying to. There's really two subsects of people here. There's the people trying to get the god in the machine, and the people trying to get the godliness of lack of thought and worship the pig for all it does is sit in the mud and enjoy itself. You could are they worshiping the too... pig or using the pig as a form of parody over the prior establishment? It could even be both. I don't know if that... It seems like it's incongruous if, if Mary... They have Mary out front being the pig, but now we have these uh, stained glass bits. So we've got a guy, kind of Mesopotamian looking, head of a cat, who's just ripped the heart out of a pig. And there are gears, and these other two are... It almost feels like somebody took that earlier note about uh, humanity being reduced to the level of pigs too seriously. You are about the Superman rising above? Something like that. Fires. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption, but my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them. Oopsies. And then... Here's I have no choice, thus I descend, and may God have mercy upon my soul, if this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys, and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Carrying the biblical theme, I guess, but I don't understand the reference. You guys got anything? I don't happen to get the references behind that one, unfortunately. Uh, Matthews was one of the first cases of paranoid schizophrenia. Oh, interesting. Who was also, at, for a while, a fairly large figure in British commerce. I think he was like a tea magnet or something like that. We keep seeing the, uh... Oh, his voices. Have we found the priest in his congregation? Vanish. That'd be, yeah. They're trapped in the cages. I don't know which ones half of them are covered. That didn't sound very human. No. But I suppose that's the point here. What the hell is that? Man pig. I would suggest that you find a locker post haste, but this doesn't appear to be that game. No. Also, the enemies are also fairly ineffectual. I remember in the, the first Amnesia, if you saw something, you were pretty much done. Was that a baby crying? 
It sounds like it. I mean, there's a lot of noises. There's a lot of dead baby stuff going on. Ah, crap. That probably isn't good. Nah. We use the, uh... Cod model of health. Ah. This game lacks the atmosphere of suspense that made the first so powerful. Yeah, now yeah, that I think I, about it, we really haven't been the least concerned. I mean, part of it is, is just the way that I'm playing it, but I remember the first time I played this and the first time I played the first Amnesia. When I saw a monster for the first time in the first Amnesia, I was flipping terrified and I ran away and hid. My first reaction when I saw a monster in this game was to just kind of run around the corner and run past it. Has light management really been as trivial as it seems from watching? There hasn't been any oil that I've seen. They removed oil, light. they removed tinder boxes, they removed the sanity meter and the health meter. So that's a lot of it, is that you aren't doing that mad scramble for light and keeping your light lit. Yeah, they also removed the inventory. You can only hold one object at a time. So, I mean, they, they're really focusing it in on, on making sure that not much is getting in the way of, of the story and all the found documents, and that's really where this game is. So, you just gotta pay attention to it. But at the same time, is, if that case, do you think there would be more documents than there have been? sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony! It's too damn bony! What was he saying was too bony, or is that phony? Bony, yeah. I don't know, they didn't really s give it any context. It was something about sparks, something in the wheels. It's too bony, it's too damn bony. I don't know. Uh, my soul, soul shudders at what I have seen, but at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. So now the machine. The strangest will feeling that this is just going to make it worse. Couldn't imagine why. Well, it's got that in common. It's an amnesia game. It never gets better. It just gets worse. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Did you guys get all that? I thought it was fairly loaded. It appears we may have a suicide cult on our hands. And, uh... That's one plausible interpretation of what was said there, but it's hard to be sure. Oh, yeah. Small sacrifice, speed the way to heaven. Free yourselves now, tyranny of flesh would probably tie into that. They keep going back to that theme. Work shall set you free, etc. Yeah. 
We also had the uh, government makes pigs of us all. Thatcherism? <laughs> I think that's a low blow. I th- but since it's I think that's... aimed at Thatcher, I'm all for it. <laughs> I think that's a couple of decades off. Just a few. But yeah, that one definitely had a an overtone of classism to it. But a lot of this game has had overtones of classism to it. Aha, phone. Yes, answering the chair won't work as well. <laughs> Alright, still looking for the saboteur, our helpful friend on the phone. Since he can't help. Because saboteurs are so well known to, you know, give you ideas of what's happened. <laughs> Alright. Another one. Uh, this looks more like business stuff. October 17th, 1899. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed trough at one end, so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect the skull. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We observe that the artificial lightning contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. Post stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stun product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product, and from this point, we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor, which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. Pleasant. Frighteningly, frighteningly efficient. It's interesting to note that they refer to the livestock being slaughtered as the product in the technical notes, whereas you know terms like pig and swine have been so common elsewhere. But pig yeah. and swine have mostly been used to refer to people. Whereas product has been referred to whatever they're butchering here. Interesting. It's kind of, it kind of makes it clinical. True. I and mean, all the notes are... Everything is written within the same year, at least, so it's not like... a massive change. It does seem strange that with all the talk that they've been doing about having some other sources of energy, and that's not gas, and this, that, and the other thing that I'm lighting coal furnaces. Coal is traditionally associated with heavy industry, so it makes sense from a thematic point of view, if not a... I really don't know what word would be appropriate here now that I think about it, but it certainly makes a lot more sense from a thematic point of view here. the thing won't start unless you have enough coal in it. It seems odd that there would be the functional coal furnaces, though, if he's been talking about how the factory seems fake. And all that That stuff. is weird. Well, it does make a certain interesting counterpoint, because this was the year that Sigmund Freud had released the interpretation of dreams, which makes a big point about how the waking mind can't properly s- or overly censors a lot of the conflicts that the subconscious has. So a lot of this could be that subconscious invading our protagonist's waking mind. I would believe that. That makes sense here. 
we've got hallucinatory children, we've got, um, we've got vanishing children. monsters around the corners. We've got so that, um, that has awfully impressive machinery, which you can read all sorts of things into. All right, Vital I'm going to call this Vital Fluids. Precious bodily fluids. <laughs> uh, I want to make a Doctor Strange love reference, but I don't remember the movie well enough. I just know that it's there. Yeah, Remember, if you're being chased by a monster, here. hide in the war room. There's no fighting allowed there, therefore they shouldn't be able to hurt you. <laughs> but <laughs> no fighting So part of the uh, Freud's interpretation of dreams was the idea of one symbol having multiple meanings. And that's very definitely been in place in this entire game with the pig. Right. The pig is fuel, the pig is man, the pig is people I don't like. The pig is even the industrialized the pig is society the pig. itself. The pig is below man. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to call this installment here and then uh, we'll return shortly. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.